Hello everyone. Welcome you all to another episode in Identity in 50. Today, we will be having a session on how to log into your applications with Fido Pass keys in WSO2 Identity Server. First of all, I introduce myself. I am Tamidu Jayaprama, a software engineer at WSO2 Identity and Access Management team. Before diving into pass keys, let's get into the background details. The pass keys relies on the terminology Fido. FIDO, Fast Identity Online is a set of standardized protocols that provide passwordless login. This is developed by FIDO Alliance, a non-profitable organization launched in 2013 to develop and promote authentication standards that help reduce the world's all reliance on passwords. FIDO relies on a standard public key cryptography. During registration of a FIDO key, the user's client device creates a new pair and send the public key to the relying party or the service. The private key retains in the FIDO device and it will never leave the device. This makes FIDO a phishing resistant solution. FIDO2 is the newest specification up until the introduction of passkeys. It is a combination of W3C's web auth and specification and FIDO Alliance client authenticator protocol. FIDO2 enables users to leverage common devices to easily authenticate to online services in both mobile and desktop environments. When it comes to the problems with traditional FIDO, the first problem with traditional FIDO is the cost. You need to purchase a separate device and generally you need at least two of them to keep one as a backup option. The second one is you need a roaming authenticator to securely bootstrap the platform authenticators. Here, the roaming authenticators are external FIDO devices, whereas platform authenticators are like built into the platform, like device fingerprints. Consumers generally have a less interest to buy a separate device for the authentication. And traditional FIDO are unable to survive device loss or device changes. And the consumers are not much aware of the details of FIDO2 and WebMOD and protocols. So we are looking for a replacement for passwords, and that should be easy to use as a password, easy to recognize and understand, leverage on existing investments. It should be durable across device flows, and it should work at a global scale. Here comes passkeys. Passkeys is a phishing resistant password replacement FIDO credential that is usable across all of your devices, which require user verification and can survive device loss. As I explained earlier, FIDO is provided on top of the FIDO terminology. The user experience is inspired from Password Manager UX. FIDO passkeys has four common properties. The first one is the syncing property or the backup. Passkeys are synced through your signed in Google account or Apple iCloud keychain. Then, some platforms support sharing of passkeys. Apple allows sharing passkeys to a different Apple device using AirDrop. When sharing, the entire passkey credential is shared, including the user ID. Once shared, the credential will be moved to the new device using their biometrics. The new device or the user can use and reshare it completely independent from the original user. Third property is the cross device. Using a QR code, you can gain access to a device that doesn't support passkeys using a device that has passkey support. Fourth property is the discoverable property, in which passkeys contain metadata that allows your system to detect and present passkeys to you. Even if you don't know that you had passkeys, the system can detect and present them to you. Passkeys uses Bluetooth and QR technologies, but it's not used for the authentication. Bluetooth is used to confirm the physical proximity, but the actual FIDO association is not shared over Bluetooth. The passkey flow works pretty much same as typical FIDO flow when signing with the same device. The relay party or the server generates a challenge and send it to the FIDO device. FIDO device performs user verification and generates a 
public private key pair. The private key pair is securely stored on the FIDO device and the related public key is shared along with the registration response to the reliable party. Reliable party then stores the public key. In authentication, the reliable party sends the challenge back to the file, sends a challenge back to the FIDO device and the FIDO device performs user verifications and unlocks the private key. It then signs the challenge using the stored private key and this send the signed authentication response back to the reliable party. Reliable party validates the response using the previously stored public key and perform the authentication. In cross device authentication or the registration, the pass key store involves a QR code. The client application or the web browser will first generate a QR code containing a URL that encodes a pair of encryption keys. The QR code will be scanned using the authenticator and upon successful completion, a Bluetooth advertisement containing the routing information for a network relay server will be created. This produces the end-to-end -end encrypted key agreement between the client and the authenticator. Then both client and the authenticator will connect to the relay server and perform standard FIDO client authenticator operations. Now let's move into a demonstration. I'll be splitting out the demonstration into three subparts. First, setting up the environment by registering a service provider in WSO2 identity server and configuring the FIDO authentication, then registering pass keys into your user account and third, logging into the application. I have already downloaded and set up WSO2 identity server. If you don't already have downloaded it, Visit to the WSO2 official website and download the latest version of WSO2 Identity Server. First, I will be starting by logging to the console. Here, I have created an application for the pickup dispatch. Then, I will be visiting the sign in method section and set up password let's look this sets username as password and the security key or biometrics authenticators to the sign in method flow then i need to register a user i have already registered the user name change in the system now i have downloaded the wso identity server pickup dispatch sample i'll be using this for the demonstration First of all, I need to log into the my account of the user to register passkey. I'll be heading into the security section and clicking on the plus icon on security key and environment. Now I can see different option and as I'm using a Ubuntu computer, I won't be having the inbuilt passkey support, but I can log in with the connected to mobile device. I'll be clicking on this and on my mobile, there will be a request. It asks me to create a passkey for the user. I'll click on continue. And then it asks for the biometric verification. And after the verification, the key registration will be successful. I'll be entering a display name. Then I'll be logging to the pickup dispatch application. Once I click on login, I see this file option and I since I have already registered a passkey on my connected device, I will be clicking on it. And on my mobile, there will be a request. And it asks to choose a passkey. I already have a passkey registered for the John Doe account, and it shows both of the passkeys registered on this domain. 
I'll pick the correct one. I'll use the biometrics for the verification and I'll be logged in. And since now I have registered, uh, I have connected my mobile device. I had that uh, device picking option, but let's say I don't have a connected device and I am logging with a, a laptop which doesn't support passkeys. Once I click on sign in option, I have this uh, different device option which shows the QR code. I'll be scanning the QR code. Now it asks me to allow to connect. And once I allow, it asks to choose as the pass key that I have registered on my mobile device. I pick the gender one and it asks for the device biometrics. And from I click confirm, I will be logged in. Now let's look into the security spectrum of pass keys. When we put other authentication method and pass keys into a security spectrum, passwords will lie on leftmost corner, proving it as a less secure option. Passwords combined with OTP options like DOTP, SMS OTP, and email OTP will provide a somewhat enhanced security. Single device pass keys or the normal FIDO lies on the rightmost corner, providing a higher level of security. Multi-device passkeys or the passkeys that can sync and share between devices lie somewhat middle in the spectrum. However, the level of security of passkeys can be enhanced by combining it with TPK. TPK or the device public key is an optional implementation for reliant parties. It is the equivalent of a device fingerprint that is a per reliant party device public key in addition to the passkey. This is used to identify the usage of the passkey on a new device. Multi-device passkeys combined with DPK can provide a similar level of security to a single device passkey. If you want to learn more about passkeys or find out the latest status or anything about passkeys, you can visit passkeys.dev, the official website for passkeys. This is all for the today's session. If you have any question, you can ask them in our community channels. Stay tuned for another episode of Identity in 50. Thank you.